In 2001, I came and saw a production of Othello with Craig Wallace. And uh, I, I literally walked into the theater for the first time and said, well, I have to spend as much of my time as possible in this space, because it's beautiful. And I met Janet that night, it was an opening night, and we got along really, really well, and I said, I want to work here. And she said, well, let's make that happen. Aaron said, oh, you guys already met, let's do Twelfth Night, I did Orsino. And we literally fell in love with each other. I mean, I fell in love with the place, I fell in love with Janet, I fell in love with uh, the audience. And uh, I hadn't done a ton of Shakespeare at that point. My first Shakespeare was in 96. First Shakespeare I did was, uh, was Orlando and As You Like It and Rodrigo and Othello at the Pennsylvania Shakespeare Festival. And it was the same summer I met my wife, who was an intern, and it was scandalous. For me to understand what it was that my dad did every day was hugely important. And now for me to have my son understand what his mom and dad do every day, it's really important. A lot of people know their dad, you know, sells real estate or is a, is a banker or whatever, but how often are they as intimate in the work? And, and we get a chance to do that. We get to share the stage. And I I'm, I'm, swear I'm not putting down other professions or whatever. One of the great rewards in this not well-paying job is to be able to share stuff with people. And when you can do it with your own family, it's pretty, pretty special. I didn't mean that to get so sappy, but there it is. I do that sometimes. See, I'm complex. I think when you choose the life of a regional theater performer over, say, living in New York or L.A., one of the things you're doing is celebrating the people you're working with. And if you're not doing that, you're not doing something right, I think. I've known about this show for six months, eight months, something like that. And I, I sort of put it on the back burner because I've got three other shows in between now and then that I'm thinking of. Um, I've been excited about this from the moment that we said that I was gonna do it, but I don't think I approach it any differently than any of the others. And I think having done all the others, it makes this one a little bit easier, and hopefully the next one will be a little easier because of this one. Much Ado would be my favorite comedy, and I'm gonna go with Macbeth as my favorite, um, but it's the one I'm most intimate with, having done it 90,000 times. My favorite dessert, I don't have a sweet tooth. So this is very interesting to be this guy who's got such a, a, a big sweet tooth. So um, coffee ice cream is sort of where my default, but that's, you know, that's... My history with wigs is long, varied, and uh, a, a giant pain in all my bits. I, uh, I don't like them. They look beautiful. They serve a purpose. Just wish it wasn't on my head. At my dressing station is usually a picture of my wife and my child and um, various and sundry lozenges and water. Uh, I've, I, I've never done a lot of makeup, so I don't have a makeup container. So, but I, for every show, it's a little bit different. And for a show like this, where I never leave stage, it'll be pretty barren. That my entire costume from Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, In, down to the cod piece. I love that costume. I felt like a million bucks in that costume and it was a ratty old thing but it, it was uh it did all the work for me that was great i like my costume to do all the work for me then i can just sit back and go all right good in this cod piece <laughs>